Welcome back to the second part of our Swiss Asset Management Day. And before we have the uh, keynote from Mr. Eaton, now we first um, give you a survey, the survey of the survey in a way, because uh, Gabriela Maria Paye from the Swiss Finance Institute has made a survey of big data impacting Swiss asset management. Um, and I heard you have participated very well in this survey, and I'm quite thrilled to have here now the results. Please give us the results uh, and come on stage. An applause for you. Well, thank you, and the applause goes mo maybe more towards you because you participated quite intensely with us, and uh, we had about 75 participants in this, as we called it, impulse survey. Why are we doing this, and why did we believe this makes sense in the day we are having today? One and a half years ago, we did maybe the largest asset management study in Switzerland, and we figured out a couple of interesting findings. One, that there was a misgap in between what the producing asset managers thought about how good they are and what the investing uh, side thought. That was one statement. The other one was looking about different categories. Where do we have strengths in Switzerland today and where do we have them in the next couple of years? And uh, we looked at innovation, we looked at markets, at financial regulation, we looked at products, we looked at infrastructure, we looked at a couple of things. Number one asset, uh, people said they believe this is what makes Switzerland great besides competences was infrastructure. Last one, they believed we are great were products. Now, we said, isn't there a hypothesis we could build by saying, can we not build on the strengths we have in infrastructure and look at what does this make on the product side? And it seemed to us that there is a natural link in between looking at big data, at digitalization, and uh, what impact can this have? But it's not upon us to just judge it, so we wanted to have your views. And uh, we did ask you six questions, and uh, I want to summarize the six questions uh, just right on screen. We took a snapshot of all your input right over lunch, and uh, that's the result of where we are. So we designed this uh, earlier this year, and uh, we have 75 responses from you, and uh, let me give you a snapshot on what this was. So first question was, does your firm know how to access and use big data to impact the business growth and better serve clients? Interesting result. If we look at the raw numbers, we see there is quite a substantial part by saying no, and even some, I have no idea. So there's a second question, which is even more striking. My firm has a clear plan or strategy covering big data. There are some promising statements by saying yes, but there are still some where at least one or the other doesn't seem to be existing. If we continue the journey, and you see here always the numbers behind it, and we pull up these numbers uh, later on, it's, it's quite a striking number. And next question, question number three, is directly connected to the business by asking, do you think if you use big data, this will have an impact on the way you're running your business. So most successful on the forecast risk dimensions. And will that even have an impact? Or can we see a renaissance of active, ma um, active management by this? 
About half were agreeing or somewhat agreeing. Um, some others were not that convinced. But there seems to be quite a good understanding that this will impact. So compared to what we had as responses before, we don't use or we don't have a plan, um, I think it would eventually make sense to reflect on what this means. Here again, the numbers for this. And very interesting also, if we look on how would this impact the way we do business, uh, would this impact on the model or rule-driven quantitative-oriented investment processes, most respondents said yes to, at least to some extent, this would influence. So we believe it's certainly good to have an idea. Question number five was looking five years ahead of time from now. And um, yes, we usually talk about robo-advisors and we had a discussion about robo-advising this morning in the context of uh, private investors or private wealth management. But uh, we wanted to know whether this might play a role as well on the institutional side and uh, specifically um, what would, how could this look like? And uh, here we see that half of the respondents say yes, at least to um, some extent or as a complementary way of doing business, this will impact us. So I think an interesting finding as well. Here are again the numbers. And the last question was coming back to the hypothesis we had. So is there something we can correlate in between the strengths of infrastructure and uh, the missing product innovation, product forces, as it seemed in the earlier study? So I'm not saying this is generalized, but could there be some positive momentum to leverage the strengths towards um, the benefit of this business. And I have to say I'm, I'm very pleased that there is hope in that sense that um, most of the participants or beyond 50% were saying yes, we agree or we somewhat agree. Of course, it depends, one could say. But uh, I think it's very interesting to see whether this then has an impact. Here are some data, not questions on the topic, but who participated. So basically, most of you having been participating here um, from where are you coming in the sense of giving an idea of the group participating here and also um, working there in terms of what's, what's your region and uh, majority, um, as you see, comes out of Switzerland. So we'll certainly have a closer look at these surveys and continue surveying, but um, it's going to be interesting to see whether some of the strengths we have, especially in this country, can help us to go a step further and uh, I think it also tells a story about um, big data, about the digital world in, in asset management. And we hope you find a number of connecting the dots points during this afternoon. And I'm sure already this morning there were some of these items touched. And uh, I'm happy to share more of these researches as we go along. With that, um, thank you for participating. We'll share the survey results, of course, and we'll also put up a link to the large survey we have done uh, a good year ago and uh, are pleased to, to share with you. Thank you.